Hello and welcome to this video. I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to let you know what's going on. We're talking about modal theory and I usually just cover Indian classical music on this channel but from September I will be covering more kind of universal concepts about Western music theory and modes and scales and applying all of that to the guitar. So let me know if you're interested in seeing some more of that content, there's more coming up. And for those of you that are interested in Indian classical music for the guitar, there's a new way that you can become a member of the Academy. It's $25 a month or it's $50 for three months if you sign up for quarterly payments. So that's a good way to save some money. And lastly, the essential techniques for Indian guitar course. That is going as a bundle at the moment. If you buy the essential techniques course, then you get the Rag Yaman course and the Rag Jog course all together. Um, so these are three pretty big courses and you can get them all just for the price of one and that offer is ending 1st of July so check that out if you're interested and you'll notice there I'm actually I'm dealing in dollars now this is a bit funny for me it just seems that all my members are in America so you know now I'm going to be talking to you in dollars rather than pounds so anyway I hope you enjoy this lesson now this little talk about this weird mode and I'll see you next time thanks bye Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Jack Jennings and I'm going to take you down a bit of a rabbit hole, a bit of a music theory rabbit hole. We're going to be talking about a scale called the Locrian Natural Second Scale and it's a mode of the melodic minor. If you're not that familiar with all of the theory, don't worry about that. You don't need to know the theory just to you know, enjoy the ride that we're going to go on here. But the whole idea with um, modes is that you can have something like the major scale and then you can generate modal scales by taking any note of that scale and turning it into the tonic and then generating seven new scales based on the major scale. So the modal concept is something that a lot of people are familiar with. But you can also generate modes out of different types of scales. So you can generate modes out of the melodic minor scale, for example. And a lot of those modes are actually not explored, not utilized that often, but some of them can have a really interesting effect. And there's one called the Locrian Natural Second. Now the Locrian mode from the major scale isn't that useful, to be honest. It's quite difficult to really build much material off that scale. Some people have tried and have done some interesting things with it. But the problem with that scale is that the, the home chord would be a minor 7 flat 5. That would be like the home, the root chord because the scale has a flat 2nd, flat 3rd, 4th, flat 5th, flat 6th, flat 7 and root. So you can't build a major or a minor chord out of that. It doesn't have the 5th so the minor 7 flat 5 ends up being the home chord and the thing about that is that the gravity always makes your ear think that that you're going to move to a, a C major 7 or a C major chord it just kind of sounds inevitable that C is the is the home or maybe A minor so the Locrian is you know it doesn't really get used much for a good reason and it doesn't come up in um, Indian music or in Middle Eastern music it doesn't really it's not like a scale we can look at and say oh well we don't use it much in the West but it's really popular in India or really popular in Turkey you know it's not a scale which really gets used much but the thing about the Locrian natural second if you look at the melodic minor and the, the generated modes from that scale you end up with Locrian natural second so instead of the flat two you actually get root natural second, and then you get the flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven, root. And I think just the use of that, that natural second, gives you more of a sense of resolution when you come back to the tonic and the B in the note B in this case so I'm playing B Locrian natural second and the thing about this is that we can we can generate a rather interesting chord that I'm using in this composition that you're, you're going to hear in a moment this composition and this chord I'm playing like this it's a 
it's like a B augmented add nine. You can have the seventh as well. But just the, as the tonic at the top again. So it's a rather kind of unusual, slightly unsettling chord, but it has a sense of, uh, it holds a bit of gravity, it holds a bit of weight and sounds like, okay, this is almost like a home sounding. And there's a little progression that I've built, which then goes to like an, that's an A flat 13 chord, and then a, there's a G 13 chord, and then back, back to this B augmented add nine chord. So this progression, it's an unusual kind of progression. But to me, that has a sense of gravity to it. And what I'm going to play you now is a composition called Montpellier, because I wrote this when I lived in Bristol, Montpellier. And Montpellier had a really kind of cool, funky, strange kind of edgy atmosphere to it when I was living back there. It probably still does now, but I don't live here anymore. So I have this little composition here. I'm doing a solo over this, using this scale, and only the notes of this scale. And then you'll hear a violin solo afterward as well. Stick around for the end, this amazing violin solo by Omar Puente. So see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.